giving them a bath. That's one of the biggest millions I've ever seen. Grace Valana, the leader. Grace Valana. Grace Valana. Well, here we are and ready to go with probably the most informative uh, July panel discussion you'll ever see. Um, we've had Walter and Mike DeCock and Sean Terry and a couple of those guys, but when you get left, myself and uh, Mana, you're going to get something that you want to hear because this will tell you whether a horse has got a chance or not. We're going to put up the betting and we're going to start at the bottom, which is Gothic. He's at the, and remember this betting is the interbet betting. What's interesting about this betting is that you can see the bookmaker's price on the left-hand side and the price that you can back him at on the right-hand side with interbet. So he's 70 to 1 with interbet. He's 50 to 1 with the bookmakers. 75. Got 75 to 1. 75 to 1 requested. The blue column is what's requested. And underneath this betting is you can see how much of the horse is available. 97,440 Rand is available. So that tells you, but let's chat about Gothic's chances. Now, there's been a very, very contentious inclusion. He won a work riders race, but he did run close up in the derby. Is he worth, yeah, is he, should he be there? You know, I, uh, from the outset, I must say that it wasn't the same field I would have ended up with, but it's all a matter of opinions. Opinions cause wars, divorces, what have you. Yeah. And uh, it's never easy to get it right. If they used the derby as the yardstick, it threw this horse into the scrum. We never saw him run again. It was a start test that day. And I, I'm surprised he got in, but I'm pleased for Com. I'm pleased for all the guys involved with it. And he's by a champion stallion, Silvano. He's one of the group of Silvanos. He took Wiley Hall, the imported horse, to the Y in the derby. Maybe he's underrated, but he's bottomed the betting boards because I think a lot of people think the same as I do. Yeah, I'll laugh a little bit. I don't know if you one time win a be in a race like this, you know. Uh, we've got, we've got it's just arguable. They paid a lot of money for him. You know, they apparently bought him. Yeah. Have I got that right? Yeah. And uh, I'd like to have been a seller. <laughs> 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 okay, we're going to move straight on to Love Struck. Now, obviously we're getting it from the horse's mouth or from Lafferty's mouth, which is what counts. 40 to 1 uh, with your bookmaker, you can get 60 to 1 with Interbet, and there's quite a lot of money available at 60 to 1. Yeah, I'll start with him. You know, he's, he's a very, very good horse. He's proved it. He's beaten a lot of them. He's always had to give them weight. When he won the politician stakes, he gave them weight. He won the Guineas trial, he gave them weight. He won up. He won a turf and tee in 1800 in the soft, and he won. The last race has definitely taken the gloss off him, but uh, he gave weight to everything again. He comes into the big race with 53. They're paying six places. I'm hoping. Uh Left first of well done for having a runner. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's for, for me, it's phenomenal. You know, you're yeah. a small stable, and I think it's your second or third year you've had a runner. Third time. Uh, third time you've had a runner. And I must congratulate you on that. It's a lot of big stables that haven't. Yeah, that's true. Y you know? Uh, Can we get to the horse's chances? I, I, it depends what Sean said about the horse. You know, on, on, on Saturday's run, you can't give him a chance, no. Lev, unfortunately. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened in the race. I don't know what Sean said after the race that Pantley never enjoyed the game. Funny enough, I think that you've got a realistic chance of running in the first six. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because exactly the point you made, he's given weight all round. When he was level weights, the last time he was level weights was, if you looked at the race, was the Classic, which he won. Okay, He then came out in the Daily News patently needing the run. Yeah. You've given him a second run. Third run. You've got a good jockey. You've got bottom weight. I think you'll be in the scrum. Yeah. So, you know, that's my personal opinion. Oh, I'm with James all the way, and I'm hoping. Wild one. He is uh, 33 to 1 with a bookmaker. You can get 45 to 1 on Interbet. And uh, he's right in the same picture. He's, they're all together, these three-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, going to take a stance here. Uh, my great mate owns it, Sean Phillips, so I'm very happy for him and Jeff Friedman. Again, it all points down to which is the race that you use as a yardstick. If they use the Derby, it gets in here in third. If they use the Daily News, he's two and a half lengths behind Rock Cocktail at level weights. So there is the discussion in itself. Uh, Rock Cocktail was beaten about a length that day. He was beaten a few lengths. I think he's a stout young horse. One of the key factors about him is that he hasn't had horses uh, run past him. He runs past everything. He really does. But he's drawn badly. We're not guaranteed a big pace. It's going to be a tough call. 
I had the privilege of riding him the other day. Beautiful action horse, mm. beautiful. Very inexperienced horse. Very looks at everything. Uh, probably coming a little bit too early for him this yeah. race. Yeah, and the early. course. And drawn 16. He, yeah, it's not going to help. I don't say he can't sneak maybe in the back end, but beautiful action horse. But I th he's very inexperienced as a horse. Well, the point is, as everyone said, and it's well rehearsed, you've got to decide whether the three-year-olds are the right horses or the older horses are the right horses. How, how do you guys see that? For me, three-year-olds, no doubt. Every year they say they're not good enough. Every year they come through. There's seven. I actually spoke to David uh, van der Feyfer, the bookmaker, at the launch, and I said to him, how do you view lots 1 to 10 and 11 to 20? He said, no, the older horses. I said, no, I'm going with the younger horses, 11 to 20. And he gave me 16 to 10, 11 to 20. So I've got all the young horses. Maybe I'm wrong. Every year they come in and they do the business. So for my stance, I'm going to three years. I don't know where Mana's going. I can't. You're going with I, the older I've horses. worked a couple of them. They're nice horses. I just think once four people have got an opinion to horses as rating, it's going to be a balls up. Yeah. yeah. I think they, they rate it too high. Well, the point is some of them are rated high, some of them are at the bottom. You end up with a horse like Lovestruck, let's say, and Wagner are level weights. Wagner's a group one winner, Lovestruck's a group one winner. Level weights, the one's a four-year-old, the one's a three-year-old. I'm just, I'm going with all the horses this year. James, the who next, are you going with? It's a good question. Who are I, you, going, who I, are you I, leading Funny enough, I'm leading with the older horses yeah. too. Uh, but I do believe Cape Town Noir is the best of the young horses by quite a long way. And I think that you'll see it here. I think he was written in the Daily News. I thought that Carl was worried he might not get the trip. So he held him up and held him up and held him up maybe a bit too long. Okay. That, but the next horse I'm going to talk about is Tribal Dance. Now, my opinion, before we even go into it, this horse is a runner. I think he's the best outsider in the race. Um, you look at his form, he's got some form. Let's hope. It would be very nice for the Radebis. Uh How do you guys see him? Uh, I think he's a decent horse. He won here a year ago at this track. He's shown he has ability. He's a hard hitter. He's carried weight. There are a lot of pluses. And it'll be fantastic for the stallion. It'll be really a wonderful break because he, he needs a big break like this. And Vaughan Marshall knows that already horse. He's a wonderful trainer. I'm not in this horse's camp. I think he's got it all against him. And he'll be, like my horse, probably scrumming for the top six. But I, not for me. It also would be nice for me to ride in the race, but I'm not. Uh, I, I, I'm in Glasgow now. I can't, I can't. I, just, I think it's a nice horse. I think it's a top division horse. But I just, I can't see it's got no, uh, no class for me. Now, I'll, I know you, your guy's opinion now. I think, and I'll make a statement here on the show, he'll beat his stable companion. That's, that's my good, opinion. Yeah, that's, okay? that's, that's a fair point though, James. Fair point. That's a fair point. point. He's fair very point. capable of beating yeah. the stable companion. No, no, no. He's very okay. capable. So there you go. The there, I could companion. agree with you. Fourth yeah. in the betting or fifth in the betting. We're going to take a break and watch some racing. We'll be back. We move on. Uh, do you remember? Philly got in by virtue of her winning the Wool Abington. Is she good enough for this race? I had a look at her. She's not big. I watched her at the gallops. And to answer your question, she, she went in the half L, which was her hometown. She had to take on a buzzsaw. And she kept getting beaten by the buzzsaw. The buzzsaw she beat when they came down here. She beat some very good fillies when she won the Wool Abington. There's 10 furlongs at this track. She comes from a top yard, a lucky owner. Uh, I, I'm, I'm inclined to say she'll be in the top half of the field. Top half, maybe. She, she, I thought she was a bit lucky to win last time. I thought Brody's Mountain was stiff not to win. She ran a little bit around. And yeah, she's a... No, not for me, James. I, I, yeah, I agree with you. I think that... Uh, she's a, she's Marcus, a small little thing. She's gutsy, but... Nah, this is, this Marcus is. with ten fingers would have definitely won. <laughs> 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 Let's move on. And no worries. Well, maybe Anton would say no worries. Has he got a worry, this horse? Hey, he's a very good horse. You know, he proved it. He, we, we had his number many times over a mile and shorter. And then Gavin elected to put blinkers on him. And uh, I think it was in the Guineas. And he went at a ridiculous pace. He hot-footed and he could go watch the race. He led to the 200. He had Versing Getrix attacking him on the left. On the right, he had uh, Cape Town Noir. Two great horses. Result, next time the Daily News, they dropped him out. He finished best of all. He was doing best work in the finish, proving the Cajal Rambo dance across works. This horse is alive. He's in for me. I can't have that much to say about him. I don't know him that well. Uh, I, I love his owner. 
and he's put a lot of money in the game. Boy. The man is a man is yeah. a shoulder. He's, Buffalo Bill. Yeah, yeah he's, Buffalo he stands Bill. There, Brad Bernard in Yolanda. And I'll yeah. tell you what, he's had quite a little bit of success. He's done I, well. I, and he deserves it. Yeah, deserves and, it. And, and if his horse can win or not, that's beside the point. He's got to run in in July. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the key. Yeah, Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, James. Yeah. What he just said there is vitally important. Getting a horse to run in this race is, is magnificent. Yeah. I've had horses that have all been outsiders. And everyone's been great excitement. Well, on that point, there are a lot of new owners that are running in this July. Yes. You've got the Radebis, you've got these guys. Alesh They're, Naidu. Alesh yeah. Naidu. And uh, it's fantastic Chetty. to see this yes. new breed of young owners coming through. Because let's face it, that's what we need to sustain this. Yeah. You're right, James. If you go and analyze this, James got a very, very valid point. Analyze the owners of a lot of these horses. You're going to have your big owners. You're going to have your massive players. But the, from the De Broglio, who's tasted success, down to Alesh Naid, who's down to the Bernards, and I'm leaving a few people out because I'm not studying it, but there are a lot of new owners. Very important. Very important indeed. Eject. This has been my each way tip for a long, long time. I like this horse. Very good horse. Top yard. Won the Y stakes. Qualified him for the race at Group 2. And what odds is he now? 28 to 1. I think at... Uh, I don't think he'll win the race. He's had a few cracks after winning the Hawaii Stakes. He's had Marcus Rydum, came up in the outside, ran home with the pack. He's a, he's a hard hitter. I don't think he's a Vodacom Durban July winner. You must congratulate Sean Terry for having four runners. Fantastic. No uh, doubt. Fantastic. Cheapest. That's an achievement. That's an achievement. Uh, top jock. I rode him this morning. He felt Through good. the jock. No, 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 no. He's still, he's still, <laughs> he's still on the plane to find Mauritius, I think. But now the horse, uh, EJ, and uh, he felt good, James. He felt good. He felt solid. He, uh, his body language is good. Could probably be, could, could be the, the back end of the quartet. I, I hear he's going to run in the blinkers. I watched him gallop with the blinkers. I thought his gallop was pretty good. What I like about this horse is he's weighted to have a huge yeah. chance in this race. That's his well big weighted. class. Very good rider, Glenn Schofield. Very, what he's doing overseas, very. phenomenal rider. He's improved a lot. Wagner, Joey Soma won the Summer Cup with his horse. Joey Soma, no stranger to having some huge success in Group 1s uh, with a very, very small yard as well. I'd like to see Wagner win more than any other horse in this race, probably apart from your horse, Lovestruck, mm. because we mate, and yeah. Joey Soma's a great mate. So, but can he? Joey, uh, the humble hero, is just one of those men that I think every trainer wants him to win. He's just such a good man. I think... Uh, Joey's got one choice here. It's my opinion. He's got to make it hot. Yeah. I looked at the race, said there's no pace in the race. Yeah. Seal's going to make it hot because he stays well. Wagner, Love Struck's going to be up there. That's what I looked at the three. I said, what way do they carry and how are they going to go? Are they going to position themselves? Are they going to be able to get there from, with a big field? The key for me has Wagner got the pace to get up there. If Seal doesn't make it hot enough, can Wagner make it hot enough? If it's a hot race, this horse is alive. I tend to agree, he must make it hot. Yes. That it takes out Pomodora. They must must make those horses carry their weights. Yes. Uh, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, 54. 54. Make them carry their weight. Then you'll have a chance. Yeah. If they don't go fast enough, burn Forward. it. Make, yeah. them, make them carry their weight. You've ridden in a number of Julys. What I tend to see is they jump and they go. The first furlong yes. or furlong and a half, they all go. And you've got to be able to go with them. Can a horse like this go with them to be able to then get in a position as they go beyond the draw? Well, you don't have to quite commit that early, James, because you can still take it up at the 19. Mm. You know what I mean? But they do, they, they do go hard. Depends where you're drawing. Drawn five. <sighs> yeah, then if you haven't got early pace, then you're going to end up in trouble. Then they're going to crowd you and, and, and you're going to end up in trouble. But they go hard the first 300 metres. Mm. Does everyone go hard, Mana? Everybody, just about everybody. It's, 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 I've heard a couple of scream, and, and, and you can't recognize. <laughs> you, can, you can't recognize their voices. <laughs> no, they squeal. Yeah, they squeal. They squeal. Yeah. And it's tight in the corner. When, when, very, do you, when, very, do you, when does the bus get into motion properly? Part well, you get a couple. Of, you get a couple of that just like where they say that like, just catch a bus. You just yeah. you just like carry across. That's what Pierre did like last year, and just yeah. and just find his way. Pierre never yes. never never pressed. Yeah,